I'm Dr. Roger, and this question is from the 2020 October U.S. exam calculator section. We're given an equation for the number of students in university t years after 1969, and they're asking us to interpret the constant term in this equation. Choice A, the number of students in 1969. 1969 is zero years after 1969. If I put in zero for t, I get zero minus zero plus 10,268. So our estimate for 1969 is 10,268, which is the number they're asking about. So that looks like the correct answer. Choice B, the number of students in 2002. 2002 is 33 years later. If I go to my calculator and put 158x squared minus 771x plus 1,268 into y equals, I can look at the table and scroll down to x equals 33, and I find there's more than 150,000 students in that year, so 10,268 is not a good estimate. The number of additional students enrolled each year is also not accurate. This is a quadratic, so the number of students enrolled each year varies and maximum number of students in a single year is not correct because we just saw we went over 150,000 students. So choice A would be our answer. College Board often asks you to int interpret the slope or intercept of a linear equation or the constant term of a quadratic and the constant term in a quadratic is the y value when x equals zero, or in this case, the s value when t equals zero. Come back soon for my next SAT video. With math, there's always more.